You've seen your favorite NBA players on the court. You might have even seen them on the red carpet. You feel like you know them. But how well do you really know your favorite celebs? We got a chance to hang with some of basketball's biggest stars and Migos, who are apparently very good at basketball too. The wit wit. To talk about the issues we care about most here at Thrillist. Food, travel, and of course, beer pong. We've got the responses to all of our most burning questions. So stick around, kids, because some of their answers just might surprise you. Especially Joel and Beat's take on pizza. F***ing weird. First up, what are these guys eating when they aren't busy caring about training and diets? Hamburgers, fries, things I probably shouldn't be eating. It would have to be pizza. Cookies, like chocolate. Chip cookies. My girlfriend makes them. You gotta find someone that can make good chocolate chip cookies. Stay with the rice uh, with the corn. Wagyu. Chinese. I like Pad Express. Tempeyaka. McDonald's. I ain't never wrong with no nigga to eat. I'll go to Chick fil A all the time. Except on Sundays. Crab legs. I have the fried chicken, the fried pork chops, mac and cheese. But let's talk about one food in particular pizza. Chicago versus New York. Pizza with pineapple on it versus pizza without pineapple on it. Pizza in general. Yeah, Chicago pizza is fire. Oh, well, really? It's fire. It's Those fire. Are words. <laughs> I don't have to go to New York. Chicago's it's almost like lasagna, like converted into pizza. But nonetheless, it's good. Yeah, no, I don't eat pizza. No? No, nah, it's disgusting. What? I just don't like the look of it. Pineapple on pizza? How do you feel about that? No, pineapple does not go on pizza at all. Never? You should go to a doctor if you do that. You kind of sound like a pizza purist. Is that fair to say? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I am. I would just love a chance to just like change your mind on pizza. Oh, uh, it's hard to change my mind. <laughs> it's hard. Joel and Bede, try pizza one more time. Now these guys have some money to play with, so how are they spending it when it comes to vacation? Kiowa Island. It's, it's kind of off the coast of South Carolina. It's my kind of dream place. I feel like I'm like in another country. Right. <laughs> I feel the same way when I go to New Jersey. So I like to spend it in New York, Maldives. I'd probably say Cabo. Santorini, Greece. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out. I've never been to Hawaii. That's somewhere I've always wanted to go. Of course, those questions were pretty much softballs, or basketballs in this case, but um, <laughs> But how will these superstars fare with that kind of difficult, kind of weird, would you rather? You've never been to Hawaii, you'd love to go. Would you rather spend three months in Hawaii with no commitments or five minutes on the surface of the moon? I'm going to Hawaii. Not the moon? Oh. Uh. Kiowa Island. I'm okay. No moon for me. And the question that's probably been keeping you up all night, what's their go-to hangover cure? No, nah, you know, I don't really drink. I have a nice lemonade. I always have a nice lemonade. You guys wake up with a hangover. Well, not what's your go-to? No, I'm drinking, man. Mezcal? Oh, that, man. Uh, that drink Martell might be a hangover. I would have to say just, you know, a lot of rest. A lot of rest and some orange juice and some ginger ale. I don't really get hungover, so I couldn't tell you. Drink Martell, no hangover. All right. I'll take your advice. Speaking of drinking, perhaps maybe the most important question of all, do their skills on the court translate to beer pong? Hey! Cash. Cash. Ah, uh, money ball without looking to. Oh, oh man, I almost made it. Never played beer pong, but surprisingly good at it. You know what? What? I'm pretty good at everything. <laughs> Not to be cocky. See, you, you garbage, man. I told you I'd do this. You got one chance of redemption. And there it is. I guess after all, we found out that NBA players, WNBA players, and even Migos aren't really that different from us non-famous or gifted humans. But it would seem that they are definitely more interesting. Yeah, not only pizza, it's disgusting. Disgusting. Special thanks to Mountain Dew for getting us in the room with these guys. I am definitely not cool enough on my own to do so. For more Thrillist videos, you have to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more great coverage on food, drink, travel, entertainment, and everything else you like, you can click the link in our description. And if you just can't wait to watch another Thrillist video, I have good news. There's one right here. You can click it.